Yeah, but Johnny, what if this person has a gun? Right? Especially if we're in the United States. Everyone has fucking guns. It's fucking terrifying. Have you seen Supreme? You know? Did you see that look like, in his what eyes? If, he seems did like Empress just pull out a gun? Empress. <laughs> did you, I was looked away for five seven. Empress. 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 Put that down. Calling all queers. Calling all queers. I want to welcome you all to the first ever completely homo version of uh, the Hippie Dippy Show and the first ever dating show I've ever hosted. I think we all need a break from the kink discourse to actually uh, just be a bunch of queers. I want to welcome you all around here. So, uh, I am a visionary when it comes to Hippie Dippy and doing all this stuff. The Hippie Dippy Championship, Hippie Dippy Roundtable, Hippie Dippy Showdowns, Hippie Dippy Everything. And of course, the Hippie Dippy brand is expanding now to the gay dating show. But I also... I'm very lazy as of recent. And so, it's like Lover Host, except it's gay. Therefore, if you criticize me for grifting, you're a homophobic. I am going to be introducing the person who will be doing the picking and choosing, which is going to be mm. Denims. The way that it works is you will all DM me right now, now that you know that it's Denims. Whether you choose love, which means, oh my gosh, you're gonna go on a little adventure with Denims. Maybe she does a lovely stream with you. Maybe you just go DM each other. Maybe, I don't know, you play League of Legends with each other and then hate each other because that's disgusting or what other type of stuff. Or you choose host, which means at the end of this stream, whether you're streaming or not, I'm going to raid into you and you're gonna get all the viewers of the Hippy Dippy dating show, which is great for growth but makes you a pretty bad person too. The first round is gonna be very simple. You all introduce yourselves, you say some interesting facts about yourselves, and why you think you would be great to go off on an amazing streamer homo haven together. So I'm gonna go around the room slowly and you can all give that reason. We're gonna start, of course, with Denims who will introduce themselves to the audience. So, yes, I'm Denims, I am Pan. Um, and I'm, I, I stream and I'm a, a lefty and that's, that's, uh, that's me. Yeah. I'm so nervous, dude. Don't worry. Don't worry. All it is, is deciding who you're going to marry. Next oh, is okay, going I'm to be, this is going to be Miss Rose. Or Josie. Or <laughs> yeah, Josie. You call me Josie. It's fine. It's either core. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Josie Rose Gavajero, and I am a bisexual trans woman, and I stream on Twitch. I am a, a trans researcher nationally by trade, and I did 10 years in politics, so I'm a super political nerd. So there's always good conversation when we're around, and I am super spontaneous that likes to go into the woods. So that's me. A woodsy girl. We got a woodsy girl. A hunter, maybe. One that goes goes out into the woods and picks berries and such. Now we're going to go over to Johnny Scarlet. Hello. Excuse me, one moment. Mr. Chu has to go on the floor. All right. He gets really upset when I'm not paying attention to him and I'm paying attention to the computer. What's up? My name is Johnny Scarlet. I stream here on Twitch, but I am also a potter as well as an artist and a model. Um, I've been modeling since I was, I guess, 15. I've been a potter for about six months. Uh, it's a trade that I'm just picking up. Um, I'm a self-taught logician. I stream about math and philosophy and ethics and politics. And uh, I enjoy denims because they have a lot to say about things that I'm interested in as a political nerd. And uh, I think that they're cute. So if you want to be cute with me, that'd be cool. Wonderful. We're going to move it now on over to Anna the Nugget. Oh, I am Anna the Nugget. Um, I, I basically, I am also Pan. I'm also Demi. And I think I would make a good partner because... Um, you know, I'm also into all that politics stuff, and I, I saw that Denims was getting into, you know, kind of the reality TV lore, the 90 Days and the Kitchen Nightmares, and we could have a fun time watching those, laughing at that. 
Um, I'm also ready. I, I had an idea that like I, I felt like this might have been the setup. So I also, as much as um, we, you know, it's very uncomfortable to wear denim and nobody wants to do it. But I wore denim today to show that I'm ready to give up all the comfort in my life uh, to make denims happy. So, yeah. <laughs> If anything shows a true, supportive, and healthy relationship, it is changing everything about yourself to make your partner happy. We're going to now move <laughs> on over to Aristocracy. Hello, um, I'm Aristocracy. I'm a history streamer, and um, people have called me many things. Um, the one that has really stuck is that I'm evil with a pretty face. Um, you know, but I'm also a garbage human being and a genocide denier. Um, but what's the most important thing about me is that I'm looking for someone that really understands and appreciates like my 2D self and doesn't want to change me and is willing to be patient and accommodate me because it does present some physical challenges, especially like sexual challenges. But, you know, I'm willing to work with it if, if Denims is work, willing to work with it, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, excited to be here. We really wanted to appeal to uh, the more gamer audience at home because I, I know many at home would love to date a cartoon character. We're going to now be moving over to Empress. Uh, I'm Empress.fm. Uh, I'm a politics streamer uh, about to finish my degree in political science. So uh, if you're uh, into someone who thinks they're uh, smarter than they actually are, I'm your gal. Uh, I'm a uh, trans, demisexual, pansexual, I don't know, sexuality, gender. It's kind of just gobbledygook, right? Uh, so yeah, I mean, like, I really love music, and I see you've got, like, those acoustic panels behind you, so I'm sure, right, like, we could totally hang out, blast some tunes, just, like, you know, chill for a bit. I've also, uh, I've also got my denim ready, so I have to, uh, you know, <laughs> convert to the, uh, convert to the religion as it, as it stands. <laughs> what have I done? I'm so good at putting on clothes. That's another pro. I don't know if putting on clothes is exactly what Denim yeah. is interested in, but good move. We're now going to close it out with Katerina. That just like a true CTV fan. I, that was that was beautiful. <laughs> is my mic working? Yes. Lit. First of all, still a nice upgrade on the uh, camera. Look and fly. I am uh, looting <laughs> my my uh, friend Matt uh, Supreme's home, and uh, well, I have if, um, much much be, like a if, much I'm like an Israeli following. settler. I've taken over, and there's no option for him. Classic Antifa. Love that for you. Um, hello, I am <laughs> Katarana. Uh, I love the way Dylan said it. Reminds me of every time conversation I've had with CTV. Ten out of ten. Um, yeah, I am a uh, debate bra. Uh, my uh, I like to call myself a uh, Vosh with big booba. Um, but outside of that, I am getting my degree in physics like right now. Uh, I have experience working with rockets and satellites, and I stream about science and i my thesis is on the microgravity effects on the human heart what does that mean it means i'm really really hard to talk to wow look at all these pluses um but outside of that uh, i think Dem Den denim should choose me because uh, since i know so little about them i can't even be parasocial so it's gonna be like having conversations with normal people all over again isn't that great wow let's go <laughs> See, I've decided if she's this saying that work no one else here is normal. She's working. the only normal one. That's a that's a great opening salvo. I mean, there are normal people on Twitch. Come on. Online. So, so we have about ten minutes left in the round. So I'm going to open up with an easy question that I'm sure we've all been asked. It's 2014, and you're in the middle of northeastern Syria, captured by ISIS fighters. What is the love song you would sing to them to convince them? That you should release, that they should release denims from captivity to spend the rest of their life with you. Easy, easy first question. We're gonna start. We're gonna start with Johnny Scarlet. Vienna by Billy Joel. Vienna waits for you, and I will wait for you, denims, even if the fighters do not let you go. 
That's a good choice. That's a good choice. Anna the yeah. Nugget. I would have to sing of Imagine by that. I'm sorry, I don't know the person's name. John, <laughs> I think. But I, if you don't know John Lennon's get, name. <laughs> Wait, John Lennon is okay. John Lennon, but uh, once you hear that song, the world—I don't think they would want to hold her captive anymore. Because once you hear that song, it just everything is okay. They—they they would find peace so, yeah. through John Lennon. So this is like the Keemstar quote: "Like Palestine and Israel just needs to study Imagine" by John Lennon. Yeah, brilliant. And then we could—I I will listen to John Lennon after with her after they release her, and then I'll know him after. Wonderful. We're going to go to Josie. So if you like a girl who's really bad at pop culture and can come, a, come up with a song on the fly, this is not me. <laughs> so I was just thinking, what could it be? And I was thinking, why don't it just be Wonder Wall since we're trying to, you know, we're just don't, don't build the walls, you know, all that type of stuff. So I'm just going to go with the most classic trite song imaginable. I'm, I'm just imagining it's safe, it's safe Josie walking up to ISIS like, oh, yeah, beheadings? Here's Wonderwall and just digging anyway. into it. <laughs> <laughs> terrific. Terrific. I, I'm a nerd. We're going to throw it over to Empress. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do to save every day till eternity passes away just to spend them with you. Jim Croce. Beautiful. That was, that's, that's what I was listening to at the time. Song. It's, it's a really, it's, th that is definitely the most, I think, romantic song you can pick. I mean, these are some good options. This one is definitely a, a pretty good choice. We're going to throw it over red. to the cartoon. Wait, what did you call me? The cartoon. I'm not a cartoon. Ooh. Right? I'm an anime girl. I'm a VTuber. Oh, I heard you didn't I, watch anime. Uh, <laughs> the Japanese cartoon? This is true. I'm just saying, like, cartoon is just a term that only other cartoons can use. And oh. I'm just a little offended. Resident of Toontown. Okay, I'll have to consult with other cartoons to decide if we're offended by that. But, um... <laughs> If I was try like if I was in that kind of situation to me, there's just like an ultimate I don't know, I feel like all these other love songs are just like eh. they're not there's there's one there's one ultimate love song. Okay, that is like the be all and the end all. Okay. And I will always love you. I will always love you. Yeah, suck it, Empress. Okay, thank you. Whitney Houston. When and where? That I did not know. Okay, we're gonna... Okay, now we're going to move on to the individuals whose name is so pretty, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce it. Because the name's just so pretty, I wouldn't want to disgrace it with, with an attempt to pronounce it. And it would be cheating if I pronounced it, because then Denim's wouldn't have to pick them because of how pretty the name is. Saved. 100% not I don't not even in competition and I know it's gonna be a song that nobody probably knows Bule Chudian from the movie Kabi Kushi Kabi Kum and the reason why I would choose this is because even though they're part of ISIS they secretly like Bollywood movies so either they would get upset that I'm singing a song in Hindi but my voice is so bad that they'll just have to release you because they don't like my singing or they'll just be like I remember this from before I became radicalized hell yeah you can take her and uh, the, the movie is uh, four hours long, uh, so they'll probably just have, like, four flashbacks for four hours. I could really easily take you during that time, so I choose it's that a, one. It's a very thinking outside the box method, I have to say. This is, um, this is you know, your physics degree. That's what physics does. The physics, they come out of the box. It's, it's, it's working, so I think it's definitely, definitely interesting here. It's just a lot of like those notes that break glass, but when I'm singing it, they'll break the glass just to spare themselves. So no matter what, you'll be safe. Okay, so we blew through that, meaning Denim's, it's time 
Okay, can I ask like one more question? Since you have actually some extra time, sure. Yeah, throw one. Okay, this is very, very important. This is very important. Um, please raise your hand if you like Neon Genesis Evangelion. Please, please raise your hand. I got a Shinji cosplay mm. over there. You want me to bring it out? A physical disability okay, okay, back to I'm, me. I'm, no, I don't know. I'm sorry, the mother Harris, flipping room. Um, can you? You can. You can feel free to just say yes or no. That's very. That's very rude of me. Um, I like whatever you like. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a no. Caught out. The little. Mm, I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Wait. Mm -hmm. This is this is harder than it looks. This is very difficult. These were a lot of really good options. Um, hmm. Oh, you okay? You're on to Let choosing. Okay, let me play the suspenseful music. Okay, you can go now. Could you spell what you mentioned now, for you have me? To, um, you know, you have to DM. Me. By the way, <laughs> Denims, you have to DM me. The person that you you're going okay, to you're gonna okay. kick. You got to DM it to me. You've got twenty seconds. This is so hard. Type 20 seconds. Oh my god. Okay. Um. This is Dylan. This is so hard. This isn't fair. Wow. That's amazing. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Okay, I just... So, I'm going to list off two people, and one of them are going to be the person that's kicked off. Okay? The first person is aristocracy. Wait, this is breaking the rules. The second person is Josie. So... Chat, make your predictions on who it is. These are the two people. The person that has been eliminated in the first round as a suspected hoster is Josie. You have been eliminated. I'm so sorry to say. Were you, were you, were you, were you oh, man, so, I was sweating so hard. So, oh, hey. Josie, you're muted. And I, uh, am I free to reveal if you were lover host? What is that? Am I free to reveal if you were lover host? Yeah. She was love. No! No! Denim's the okay, heartbreaker. I'm I look. I forgot that I have to do this part. Okay, I didn't. I didn't know how emotionally, how much of an emotional toll this would take. Okay, it's okay. It's karma. I've been hiring people and rejecting resumes all day, so this is just this is what it is. Okay, listen. Honestly, same. I've worked in in HR. That shit is no, fun. no. It's this is fun. just it's, yeah. No, it's no, karma. No, 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 no. I just got rejected. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm I feel so bad. Wow. So now that we've this all acknowledged just, just that... friend me, Jim, Denims. Is this to be friends? <laughs> now that we've acknowledged I, I will, that I Denims will... is a monster, do you have any last okay. words, Josie? That I love all of you, and all of you are such beautiful people. Aww. And Anna, Aww. thank you so much for the raid. You know, that's horrible. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Wow. It's going to be so hard for me. Oh my okay. God. By the way, the rounds get shorter and shorter. So we're going on to the next round. And this this is a simple question. This is an actual thing you hear uh, quite simply. First date. Where would you take denims on a first date? Seems like a, like, a, like a simple proposition. Like, where do you go? Get sushi? Go to, go to an underground cage fight? What is it? We're going to start... The aristocracy. Wow, I don't even get a chance to think about this. First of all, if I was going to take 
someone like a denim's on a date, it would have to be somewhere really, really extraordinary. Um, but one of the places that I think that denims would really, really enjoy is I would take her to a safari um, in Botswana where we could go and watch the elephants. You know, we could sleep literally near elephants walking by um, in this fancy tent. Um, and I mean like a really fancy tent, like where, don't worry, the mosquitoes wouldn't get us or anything like that. Okay, there's even a bathroom in that tent. Harry actually, Prince Harry took Meghan Markle there, you know, so you know it's legit as fuck. And yeah, it would be incredibly romantic and probably one of the best experiences just normally of your life. No big deal. And plus it costs like thousands and thousands of dollars. So, you know, it's pretty legit. Wow. Botswana. Yeah, Botswana. Half the panel couldn't even find that place on a map. Yeah, I've got a 400 IQ. Um, 400. Yeah, I'm just putting that out there. That's high. That's a high IQ. I can't even count that It's 100% factual. I'm not lying. Now we're going to throw it over to Empress. I I think I got to go with my gut on this one. Um, So one of my favorite things to do on a first date is to kind of like i guess kind of in the same vein be somewhere outside um and not too far because i don't i don't live right now too far from where i grew up there is a uh like this kind of outcropping on the water that goes into into the sound the long island sound uh and manhasset bay and it's just a really beautiful view and i just really like going there and just kind of looking out at the water just kind of enjoying some time together i don't know it, 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 i Okay, I'm just going to shut up now. Fair, fair, fair option. Fair option. We all love Are we allowed to comment on other people's? You know what? Of course you can. That sounds boring. That sounds incredibly boring, okay? Denims could do that any day of the week. It's not special. Take a girl like that, that's what you do. No, just no. It's about, it's about the experience, Eris. I understand yeah. that, you know, this may be your first time experiencing love and you know loss, what's- okay? Whoa! Okay, you know what? You know what's an experience? Seeing fucking elephants. Okay, that's to point out. If you go with Eris, you have to go to two D Botswana. Okay, I never <laughs> said that. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Thank you for clarifying. It's actually VR okay, Botswana. This. Yeah, this is like some <laughs> anti-cartoon oh. propaganda, and I'm not comfortable with it. I'm very no, VR Botswana is yeah. great. Your background I mean, literally like... looks like a prince, a Disney princess, like like the beginning of a Disney princess movie, <laughs> where they're like complaining yeah, about how they're is, kept in like this their is room by my the royal master family. bedroom. It's very nice, you know. Wow, that I'm, is a bonus. I'm sure, I'm sure denims would like it. That is a bonus. A very beautiful that's why, master bedroom. That's why, as as a member of the royal family, I I just sometimes I just want to get down, you know, in dirty and like you know in the savannah. You know, like, and I think that sometimes we just want to escape the walls of the castle. And I know that Denims wants to escape those walls, too. Question. So. Which royal family? Um, I'm Was not at liberty to one? say right now. N- no. No. What are you talking about? Royal family mm-hmm. racist? That's crazy. Oh. That's oh. It. What a claim. Oh. Mm-hmm. I'll just assume it's okay, okay, the royal family okay. of Toontown. As first suspected, it's a it's a it's a different. It's the uh, PG version of the royal family. They're not racist on on the yeah. uh, on television. They're not. I'd to. say it's a Disney royal family, but that doesn't make it much better. It does not. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna plead the fifth here. I'm gonna plead the fifth. Okay. Well, we're gonna move it over to Johnny Scarlet then. All right. I'm a. I'm a. Yeah. All right. I. <sighs> thought that i was gonna have a hard time picking and then i was like no nah, this is actually really legit i would take you to my favorite place but i also think it's a good date place it's i i don't live that far from new orleans and in the french quarter there's a place called royal street and it's where all the galleries are and my favorite gallery is uh the chris robert santo gallery she does tapestries and she usually has like wine nights and stuff like that um, I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Walk around, get like some coffee. It'd be nice. Wonderful. Who doesn't like a little okay, spout of okay, alcoholism? Okay. I'm going to throw it over to mm-hmm. Anna the Nugget. Okay. I'm going to go for the practical route. It's like straight up, if Eris wins, uh, she said it was the thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, I don't think that's happening. Also, maybe like digitally, 
it'll happen, but not in real life. So um, yeah, there's that. I will go for maybe K barbecue or hot pot so that like, you know, I can cook for you. You, you know, we could maybe we could take turns being grug. Um, then after that, after we're like people fat and happy, we can take a stroll on the beach and we can look at the stars or maybe like a trail if you don't like sand. Um, yeah, we could, or I don't know, if you like an underground place, I, there's a lot of options. I'll give you options because um, I don't want to like force you to do something you don't want to do, right? Uh, if you want to go home also, I could take you home. Um, yeah, I, okay, I, okay, I just okay. follow I'm, the flow. I'm hold my deliberations for the end so no one's opinions get influenced to picking like a, something else or whatever, so... Got it, got it. Now we're going to throw it over. I just want to say that I posted some photos in chat. Are they digital yeah. photos? <laughs> Animations? <laughs> okay, they're di all photos are what digital. How do you, what's the difference between being animated and real? How do you know? If you can't tell, does it matter? Sorry, I thought this said Botswana butthole for a second. I'm <laughs> very confused. Well, whatever you're it into, Dennis. It doesn't say that. It says bolt. It says bolt hole. Just so you guys, wow. if you guys click the link, you can see. Sorry for all Botswan and viewers there. in chat. Didn't uh, we we respect your country deeply? I, yes, 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 yes. The yes, views definitely. of Denims does not reflect the views of this station. I want to throw it over to the individual with amazing cat ears. Merci. Uh, so I would indubitably. Uh, take you to the planetarium uh, but rather than having the guide tell you about everything I would tell him to hit the road and then I would tell you about the stuff also I would have the members of the rocket team that I lead go ahead and craft you a custom made rocket uh, we had done it for somebody's wedding in the past we made like a ha happy wedding rocket and I'll give you a happy denims rocket will it be aerodynamic can I ask a question Definitely. Whatever Hamas comment yeah, I was you're about, make, I was Dylan. about to ask. No! Is your friends Hamas <laughs> no! by chance? I, I'm hoping not. It's not Hamas, correct? Look, there's. It, it's really hard to have degrees of separation in a genocide state. Okay, I can I can neither confirm nor deny what they are because when you're in Palestine, it's always pretty close. But that doesn't mean that I support. Anyways. It won't, it won't be effective anyways. It's going to be made out of denim. Where is it going to go? Friction go brr. It's just going to end up hitting, you know, our spot. So we're not going to launch it. It's just going to be a decorative rocket. The views also, of Catgirl does not reflect the views of this station. That's among us. I'll also eat any <laughs> condiment during this date that you asked me to eat. Because I've never eaten a single condiment in my entire life. Will I gag? Yes, but I will do that for you. Huh? Yeah, change everything. Man. She will gag for dinner. You haven't eaten a condiment. Full quote. You okay. Never had a condiment. Never. Wait, like, like oh, no ketchup, like no pepper. No. Why would I want? You never had mayo. Are you like? Why would I want? Good. No. These all look weird. Like, what? No, these are weird. weirdly hot never. takes. It's a very, very interesting hot take to have here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, um, what, did you have other questions for this round, Dylan? Uh, we have more time, so this is a simple one. Cat person or dog person, no middle ground. Johnny. Cat person. Anna. A dog person, but I can be a cat person. <laughs> okay he so said no middle ground. Said no middle ground. I said no cheating. middle ground. Cheating, cheating. I object. Wait, uh, Okay. Calls herself a I, leftist, but is a centrist. Hmm. Okay, cat person, because I because I know someone's getting a cat. Uh. Eris. Um, cats are great, but there is just no kind of relationship, you know, like that special relationship between a dog and human. So, dog. Okay. Plus, dogs can come on adventures on because we're gonna have so many adventures. All right, like in Botswana with elephants. Empress. See, instead of going with the uh, aristocracy over here, right, and dealing with queens, you could you could come meet my little Lion King, Simba. Gotta go dogs all the way. I love Simba. He's so cute. He's so fluff. I'll see if I can get Victor. He's so cute. And Catgirl. 
You already know the answer. It's on my fucking head. How Mom? are Cat. Wonderful. Hello, meow. Okay. So, that's the end of another okay, round. Okay. All right, we're gonna speed fire. And really you can quickly. denims. You can you can reflect on the answers publicly. What what did, what do you think of the answers? All these questions this round. I'm gonna. Re so first off, I do want to reflect on the first option. I am a big big like fatso. I do like me some delicious food. Okay. Um, I think everyone can agree. However, before I am that, I'm a big museum slut. So I do like me some galleries. Noise. That was a notes? really. That, that we got just, a lot of those was, in New York. I'm just saying. I know. I, yeah. I mean, like they're just. I'm a bit of a. I'm a bit of a simp for 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 galleries. So, um, yeah. I I I have to say, um, as far as the condiments go, um, I I'm I'm excited for you to try them. I'm very disappointed that you're not. You haven't tried any yet. I don't know how you could go without trying them because I have like literally like 10 bottles of different condiments in my fridge, but that means that's like more stuff to experience and stuff. Um, and so I want to ask one other question really quickly for the people who answered dog. Um, do you train your dog? How much training have you done for your dog? Just like a quick little question here. Um, I like actually ever since I found out I was getting a dog, I created like a whole formal training regimen. I even printed it out, right? I can actually send it to you for proof. My dog is incredibly well trained. Um, my dog is a Samoid and they, for example, have a tendency to bark, but I train my dog to never bark. She just never barks ever unless she thinks someone's like in danger. And that's very, very rare. Um, so she is perfectly behaved. It, I mean, sometimes poops on, on the floor, but just uh, that's the only thing. Everything else, she is perfectly behaved, gets along with cats, right? Very, very well trained. Empress? Uh, Simba, so Simba is our, our second dog. Sister Simba is more my sister's dog. But before that, we had Bailey, who I actually, uh, I had to read all the literature and, and train myself. And he was a big boy -o. So it was it was quite a quite a fight sometimes because I would be like yo come on come on come on and he would just be like no I'm sitting here and I'm not moving, um, and he he was a beautiful beautiful lump. Uh, but yes, we 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 trained them both. I don't know if I'm as rigorous as Eris. Eris is a lot more put together than I am. I'm a little bit more spontaneous, shall we say? I do. So I have cheated a little bit because I did go for that hot tub charity stream. So I did in fact already see Anna's dog. Very cute dog. Very trained dog. So that one, I can, I don't need an answer for that one. I got that one. That one's good. Um, this is very hard. So I'm normally a cat person, right? But I, I, I can learn to like dogs, okay? The only problem that I have is when people who don't have like trained dogs that just bark. It's like day in and day out. That's tough. That's tough for me. Oh, I hate that. Mm -hmm. So like if it seems like everyone here either likes cats, which I'm down for, or they're willing to train the dogs, which is also very important to me. So like, hey, but look at this puppy. OK, do you see this puppy right now? Like, look at how adorable he is. Three, five. He's a little shaggy see. there. He got groomed like that day. But uh, look, he's so cute. It's a pretty cute dog. It's a pretty cute dog. It looks like a carpet come to what? life. Wow. Wow. Dumb. I'm just saying that that is a okay, doodle that, mix okay, and people look like will get dogs, you canceled okay? on Twitter. Right. Uh, I don't know if you want to factor that into your decision. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, okay. no, okay. it's I'm very controversial. Happen. Having a doodle mix is like being in the IDF. It's just like, it's you're going to get in trouble like Al Gadot. It's a very bad idea. Okay. If they want to yell here. at my mom, they can yell at my mom. Oh, I like it. I've started this this recent well, conflict in the right? Middle East Aris trend. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. The, oh, the round has gone on long enough, Denims. You can't delay it any longer. You have to make a decision. Okay? I'll be nice now. And I'll say 30 seconds, okay? You got 30 seconds. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. This is not easy, guys. This is really not easy. There's in my in my eyes, this round, there was only one person that was safe. There was only one person who was who was truly, truly safe. Denims, I understand, but pain is character building. <laughs> just follow your is heart. That I heard that on Fox I'm News. Yeah. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know about.
Okay, see, this, this is what happened. Okay, stop. Okay? I, the two people who are going to be, one of which chosen to be eliminated, is again, Eris and Anna the Nugget. Okay, chat, predict which one it is. You can type it in there. You're not going to get any channel points, but you can be like, I'm based, easy clap. Okay? I can already tell I'm fucked. Who's it going to be? I'm done. I'm no, done. I'm chat? Oh. Chat, who's it going to be? Wow, I'm getting a lot of spam. Man, a lot of people are predicting. Is it the is it the mayor of Toontown? Or Nugget Woman? Prince of Toontown. It is. It is. Nugget Woman. Out of the Nugget, I'm sorry. No. You have been chosen to be eliminated. Whoa, Denims, that was surprising. Can you explain your logic? Listen, I know, Anna, you have conviction. I needed you to stand oh, no. with the conviction on the dog answer. You had to stand no. with it. I've seen your dog. He's very, she's very cute. She's a very cute dog. Just got to stand with the conviction. I'm sorry. I was too beta. I, I know. Okay. Got to channel the okay. Sigma energy. Uh, you're right. I should, I should have known. I should have known. Okay. It's fine. Um, Would you like me to reveal? Anna, uh -oh. love her host. Yes, yes. Sure. It was love. I know it was. That's why it was a really hard decision. Okay, because I know Anna wouldn't pick host. Okay, I had to go based off of the questions. These are really hard. All right. It's okay. Wow. You have an amazing selection here, and um, I I wish you all the best. Nugget woman out. Goodbye. I said I don't woman. know how to leave. So don't oh, wait, worry, right I'll here. help you. <laughs> Bop. I feel so guilty. I feel wow. this guilty before. Oh my god. Now there's five you left. You turned down the Korean barbecue. I'm just saying. Like that's that's a lot. To be fair. Yeah. That's a good point. That is a good that's a good point. Is it listen, wow. it's hard, okay? You try being in these shoes. Can I be honest? I thought Anna was going to take the W. I thought the fact that you met Anna at the dinner, right? At the at the Ethiopian food dinner. I, I thought that in the proximity and location. I thought, you know, you'd use this to launch into co-op content. You did the hot tub stream together. That goes, there's history there. Know, that you've, thro you've thrown her under the bus. That would make me partial. I'm trying to be as impartial as possible and like pretend like everyone here is a fresh new face, okay? I respect that. I respect that a lot. Wow. More integrity than I have. So we're going to go into like the, the food at that Korean barbecue. Now we're going to go into the next round with another question. Now. I need I need my assistant over here to help me out. My assistant. This is a what we would call a straight man. <gasps> so oh. this man wow. walks up one before. walks up in your grill and he and he and he starts starts <laughs> <laughs> he walks up in your grill and he's like Sub toots to denims. What do you do? What do you do? How, what do you what do you do if, if this individual walked up to Denim and said, What's sub toots? And then he said, I don't know about them gays, you know? You never you never know. He's like, you know, he's he's considering, you know. We're gonna go around the room. We're gonna start with Eris. Eris, what would you do with this man? Why does it start with me? I started last time. Okay, Eris, fine. Okay, no initiative. We're going it's to Empress. a little unfair. Uh, no init. Okay. Look, I'm all I'm Empress. saying is, right, if he's saying that he doesn't know about them gays, right, I, uh, I, would, I would go into my phone, right, and I would give him a very special person's number, right, and hope that that very special person gives him an invite to a very special server where he can go talk to people about that, right? And argue about it online all day while Denim and I go back to enjoying our date. I mean, like... So you throw him onto an online debate bro server so he can debate the issue of gays. 
and and I feel like a, like a straight white dude would fall for it. Like it feels like the perfect bait. Hmm. Like yeah, here's my number. It's actually you know a certain uh, amorphous blobs number, right? And uh, yeah. <laughs> These faces are killing me. <laughs> These faces are killing me. Jesus. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Supreme, for being the for being the individual to help us. The prop. Supreme, the best ally. We're gonna throw it Yeah, yeah. We're gonna throw it over to Johnny Scarlet. What would you do? All right. Let me Frank here. I'm six one. For those of you in Europe, that's 185 centimeters. That doesn't generally happen. People don't like to mess with a big bitch. And so, Matt, we are, how we're all good. 99% of the time, we're all good. I just want to point out, I'm 191 centimeters. Ooh, I'd get you on your level. Empress is taller. I got no center of gravity. I ain't got no center of gravity. I'd like to see you tussle. Let's Ooh, go, Johnny. Let, let's, let's wrestle. Let's go next Twitch con. I'm, I'm me actually excited for this now. gonna fight next Twitch con. That's gonna be great. <laughs> I would. Oh like my to god! I get in on this. You're gonna Twitch con fight like club. Six five. Just so you guys are aware, this man is very tall. Yeah. He is a very let's very tall Con's man. Uh, I think I have a picture of him and me at Disneyland for perspective for everyone to chat. He's actually my uncle. For everybody <laughs> who doesn't know. Um. Let me see if I can get this uh, picture. Here it is. And for reference, I'm 5'10". If anybody was looking at stream right now, look how tall this man is. He is a very tall man in this Minnie Mouse ears. Very tall individual. Damn, tall boy. Very tall. We're now going to throw it over to Eris. I hope now you've thought about it enough. By the way, if you oh, would have hesitated well, in this scenario, it would have been too late. It, uh, you would have already got pwned and owned with facts and logic. He's six five. Dude. No, I don't, I don't think that's true. I like to think about things before I engage in them, right? Because I am mindful about the consequences of actions. If you just start being too aggressive, especially with like a, like with a dude, like yeah, you might be tall or anything. You know, that person might have a knife. That person might have a gun. You need to be pragmatic about this and not just like we can't just act be acting like buffoons okay just getting into fights willy-nilly especially as like two women in a room um like out like out around this person so what i would do is i would just start you know asking questions to the guy trying to understand like what's his perspective why does he think this way and then slowly try to break down his logic um and you know until we get to a point where we're literally discussing meta ethics and then he'll get so bored and so annoyed with the entire conversation he will literally just walk away um and start wondering is the chair really a chair what's the point of things what's the point of life i don't know what's going on right now and then hmm. we'll just go on with our day and have a good few laughs so he walks up and you're like, okay, let's engage in a conversation about meta ethics. He'd be like, that's some nerd shit. And he'll walk away. That's the strategy. He's not going to say that's some nerd shit, right? He's going to try to posture, act like he's like some smart bro and all of that and act like he kind of gets it, but he's not going to get it. Right. That I'll just I feel like we've exactly lost like how that goes. A straight though. dude would do. Yeah. And then I'll say, well, dude, you got to go read some cunt. Right. And then he's going to be like, well, I like Kant, and then it's just going to work out. Hey, Emmanuel Kant, but at least Emmanuel tried, okay? <laughs> okay. We're going to throw this over to Catgirl. Catgirl, what would you do in this scenario? I would go about it the same way people do when they get upset in public that I'm dating somebody of a different race. I'd say, uh-huh, and then continue. You know, I've been in streets and people be like, I see you with your white man, and I say, yep. And then I just keep it walking. So, you know, I see you with your fe with your femoid. I'd be like, yeah, you do. Nice eyeballs, buddy. You did it. I'm not going to fight. I'm, Dude, I black girl's not going to start yelling in the streets. It's not going to look good for anybody involved. Just keep it rolling. Chugga chugga choo choo. Just keep True. it rolling. I'm not going to fight. But if the it's situation the implications. happens. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but Johnny, what if this person has a gun? 
right? Especially if we're in the United States, everyone has fucking guns. It's fucking yeah. terrifying. Have you seen Supreme? You know? Did you see that look like, in his eyes? He seems like a highly dangerous individual. Did Empress just pull out a gun? Mm -hmm. Empress. <laughs> oh my God. Did you, I was looked away for five seconds. Empress. Empress. Empress, put that down. That is a firearm. It's not real. Okay. okay, okay it's a okay, prop. Okay, okay. Just okay. for Twitch. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying that I'm shaking oh, right now. Really. I'm shaking. I started I'm shaking. Like so, Bebop cosplay. I'm literally shaking right now. You know, we're in the presence of a firearm. Yeah, this is what As happens, kitty, right? These Canadians right talk all big about meta ethics, right? And then they can't. They see. They see a fake gun and they freak out. Okay. Like, is this oh, really gone. the person you want defending me? Then I'm this just is saying. A highly ethical gun. Wait, is, is somebody in here right Canadian? Now, like. I'm not victim blaming. I'm simply saying I don't know if you can handle that meta ethical discussion. Okay. I was not aware I invited a Canadian onto the show. Okay. Are you, are you against Canadians too, Dylan? I'm not against Canadians. You're supposed to be like a foreign policy expert. I'm are you not supposed against to be like Canadians. I just, you know, I, you know, you know, bluebirds stay with bluebirds. Canadians wow. stay in the Canadias, you know? Oh, it's just, you're getting your. You're sounding like a yeah. straight dude in this scenario. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, Denims is a woman is this, of the is world. Is this queer erasure? Right. She is a global, worldly woman. She's mm -hmm. not gonna like think that. Like, I, I don't even. She's not gonna just stay. Think like a border will separate her from anyone else around the world. That's such a fucked up way to live, Dylan. You know, I really hope you change. I really hope you. Wow. Change. Well, um, when you yeah, when you can creep. when you can come creep. in like sh you know what. One, when you ever can get out of Toontown and out of your 2D world, okay, <laughs> to come like like poke me in the chest and say you need to learn your lesson, then oh, that I'll, was a then I'll have blow. to listen to you, what you have to blow, say. Dylan. Okay, the fact that I can okay, end your I, existence I by unplugging a against, computer uh, is probably a problem, right? Because Denims, if you go on a date with Aristocracy and somebody just trips over the plug, like she's gone, she has been eliminated. She has now gone all that time and investment. Obviously, it's like a save file. Bring, bring a backup battery. A backup like, battery? On. Obviously, I'll have a backup. Yeah. Always have your phone cable. Wow. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a responsible cartoon. Who do you take me for? A trip over a wire. That happens all the time. Of course, I'm prepared. <laughs> Wonderful. But do you got the foot flick, right? Like when you're about to trip over the wire and you flick your foot back and over the wire and catch yourself? Like that that's that's the pro nerd move, okay? Okay. This is like a high level strat. I am not this nimble. Okay, everybody. <laughs> I think I think we've okay. we've reached the the end of this round. And we're going to now Actually, do we have enough time? I think we have enough time for one more question. And this is a simple question. Coke or Pepsi? Johnny? I don't drink soda, actually. Never developed a taste for it. Got it. Uh, Empress? Hot take. Pepsi. Cat girl? Pepsi products. I don't like any of the brown sodas, but Pepsi products are better. And aristocracy? Um, so Pepsi supports a lot of problematic, like celebrities and culture, um, and also had a very racist ad, but also Coke supports the state of Israel and the illegal occupation. So, um, I would say neither. And also I'm a very health conscious person. So I try to drink water. Eris, how do you drink? Um, it requires like a certain. Do I just like take method? like the thing and dump it on like the computer or like how does? Wait, I, I just want to clarify. Did did Eris just both sides the Coke Pepsi conflict? That's not cool, Empress. Really not cool that you okay, just you, said that. You, you did though. Yeah. I, I just you I did. all these interesting that there were turning out to just be interesting. centrists. No, it's just like Johnny also both sides it, but you call out the cartoon in the room. Neither world. sides do. I don't, yeah, well, that's literally what I said. I said neither, right? Like, so you, but you call out me instead of calling out John. I don't know, it's a little sketchy. I mean, look, it's all I heard sketchy, was, right? all I heard was IDF yeah, occupation have, and problematic have, like, celebrities an as though these are equivalent, you need to okay? No, you have an unconscious bias that you need to re-examine. I'm going to send you some literature 
and some theory, and hopefully you start to re-examine those biases. Because yeah, maybe I can re-examine really my meta Critical worldview. cartoon okay. theory needs to be taught in higher education. I'm getting cartoon explained right now. Okay, so that's the end of the round. thing. So Denims, I think, you can I mean, respond. This works out perfectly. Yeah, so this works out perfectly. So if I didn't know, I don't know about anything that's happening. I don't know what the questions are. Um, and I just so happen to have like this right next to me, which like, you know, it, you know, it, it is what it is. However, however, I will say I have gone like months or like years without drinking any soda before because I know it's really bad. And I mean, if you see here, like I specifically get the zero sugar one because I just I just really don't like all of the sugar that's in Coke. Once they get start getting the decaffeinated Coke zero that's the one I'm going to be getting. I try not to, it's just something that like, it's just, it's just sometimes it's what, what I want, but I know it's not great for you. Um, I'm not that big of a Pepsi person personally. Um, and I, I do also recognize that like both are problematic and now I'm going to get canceled for supporting the IDF and that really sucks. Um, but you know, it was bound to happen eventually. So that's okay. Um, and as for the first answer, personally, personally, this, this was a tough round. The um the correct answer there was insult Supreme until he starts crying and runs away. So that, that one was the correct answer. Survey says there were a couple other choices on the board there that were also very, very good options as well. Um, so I guess it's deliberation time. It is just deliberation. You know, time. I have I'm just saying discussing right? meta ethics is like the same thing as insulting someone. That that so. that is true. I, I want to hear what Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fudge it up, but Katara not. No, it's cool. No, Sorry, you don't, I'm, you I'm don't have to... No, 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 no. No, you're good. I was just saying I have a really good roast voice. You know, I perfected it over the years. So can we get uh... one on Dylan right now? Is that is that too on the spot? And be looking like Ben Affleck, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> You said Ben Affleck looking bitch? How does that even pack Full square ass head, bitch. Oh my God. I mean, she was taunting the voice, not the insult. So let's be clear. Voice, oh, you know, voice. So okay. I, I have okay. been at making them. But, you know, I could always just say, you know, I'm, I'm a really nice person. Okay. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Surprise. You seem really nice. <laughs> you seem really nice. <laughs> okay. can, I, can I respond? <laughs> Um, I mean, it is your show. It's Good like, point. Go wild, go crazy. The, re the reason I don't remember your name is I don't need to. You're like a speck on my radar. Okay, wow. so let's go into the wow, let's, wow. Let's wow. go into the. It's crazy that you're you're you're. Just yeah, my crazy. mom's saying that's fair. Wow! Oh my God! Look at what you're doing, Dylan. Forget about not bringing conservatives on anymore. You're literally never going to get any like queer people on your show ever. What do again. you mean? Oh my God! What are we canceling Dylan? Are we overthrowing is the this host? queer on queer violence? <laughs> she called me Ben Affleck. That's like my worst. I hate that celebrity. He's like the worst. I, I, there's nothing I he's been in my life. I like Ben Affleck, not you. Just I hate Ben Affleck. Like, let's hear this one. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, it's time okay. for Denims to pick someone to be kicked off. Okay? Denims, you have 30 seconds. Jeopardy me. Oh God, Ooh, 30 seconds. Um. Then goes, go with what's, what's in your heart, all right? Unless it's Anne's. But otherwise go with what's in your heart. Go with your heart, love. Thank you. Don't steal my lines, Empress. Think of your own mind. Is that what you said? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm just so oblivious. We have an answer. The two people on the line are Empress and Catgirl. <sighs> so it's already been chosen, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bend the rules a little. You can oh. both make a case right now to Denims why both of you 
why either of you should stay and the other should go. And if Denims wants to change their answer, they are allowed to. Bending the rules. Empress, you can start. I'm not gonna lie. I can't even. I can't even say you shouldn't vote for Katarana because, like, she she retweeted me last night <laughs> when I was like struggling with some shit, and I was like, I'm glad I got that retweet. So, like, I I don't. <laughs> how am I supposed to compete with a cat girl? This is unfair. Wow, cat girl. I can't not retweet when people are talking shit about Fnatic. What can I? Yeah, I can't help myself. I, okay. I didn't um, shit. Okay, I, I, we don't need to get into that. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you should choose me um, because um, I am a very, very caring person. Um, anyone that knows me uh, will tell you that I never have money in my bank account because I can't stop donating to random people. Uh, I also run my own nonprofit for helping kids in different countries get into STEM fields. So, uh, yeah, if you want to help the kids, I am the kids. <laughs> I should just leave at that point. Like, why am I even still here? <laughs> I don't know if saying I am the kids on a dating show is exactly the best strategy. But, <laughs> but good, good, good go. Good attempt there. We're going to now, Denims, DM me. Do you keep your answer or do you change it? Oh, this is so... This is so fucked, dude. Okay. The answer, for the record, has been changed. The person who has been kicked off the hippy-dippy gay dating show is Empress. I'm sorry. I'll see you. Do you have any final it's words? Been wonderful. And can I reveal love or host? I mean, come on. Do you seriously think I want to host? It was love. I can't handle that many people. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. Listen, so you both of you picked Pepsi, and that's tough for me. You know, that's that's really tough. Um and, you know, I originally went for Empress because, like, the jokes have been flying. They've been pretty good. Um, and, you know, I've been laughing. But am I really going to say that the person who runs a non nonprofit organization that they should get fucked? Like, and then they're so nice and they retweet. Like, I'm going to seem like a complete asshole. I, I, <laughs> I, I, I had to. I'm so sorry. Nah, I literally told you to. So... <laughs> We all recognize that Denims is a terrible person. Oh. Empress, any final words? Uh, go to empress.fm in your browser. Give me a follow on Twitch. I'll be, uh, I'll be watching. I'll be watching y'all, okay? Wonderful. See you later, Empress. And now there are three contestants left. Three people vying for the heart of Denims. Who will come out on top? Will it be Johnny Scarlet with the My Hero Academia poster behind them? Which would have been a first round elimination for me personally uh, when it comes to My Hero Academia, honestly. Uh, Catgirl or Toontown? Who will be the one I who have comes a name. out? I have a name. What was that? I have a name, Dylan. Um, is it like, I don't understand why you're always cool with just like these microaggressions, these like, microaggressions, just, just saying them over and over. Again. Yeah. It's really hurtful. Okay, I know you're trying I'll to be stop. like, Oh, it's a joke. It's a joke. I'll, you're going to irony pill everyone against cartoons. I, I'll stop. If you, um, do one of those like cartoon boing, 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 boing. can you do that? Or like, I'm not here for your entertainment. I'm here for love. I love you can't even do Damn. it yourself, Dylan. <laughs> oh, you do it yourself. That's why. I, that's why I need a cartoon to do it. I need somebody with experience. Anyway, no. we're gonna go into the next I round. I will not perform for you. You will not Dylan. perform for me. I will not perform for you. Got it. Okay. So we're in the next. We're in the 
Next round. And the next question is. You walk in on denims getting in a fursuit. Is that a deal breaker? Gonna start hmm. with Johnny Scarlet. Can we ask? Can we ask a, a question of denims as to details? Mm. If this were to, hmm. it it says it's, it's you can you see there, there's a there's a name tag that says like like a uh, like rainbow fluff ball, and it's uh, a German Shepherd, but with like blonde <laughs> blonde tips. A German Shepherd with Justin Timberlake's haircut from two thousand three. I I don't know why it's that specific for you. Well, you said blonde tips. No, just like, like, no, actually their ears are blonde tipped. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. You're very specific, Dylan. Mm. So because. Yeah, what happened? Because it's just very clear denims. that Denim's, uh, the, her furry fursona is just very clear to, I think, anybody watching. Okay. A German Shepherd. Yeah. Okay. Because Denim is a German Shepherd, a, a.k.a. a more um, realistic looking, perhaps, we'll say, type of furry. This sways my initial opinion. And uh, I ask what convention they're going to. Crinkle con instead okay, no, of no. walking out. Okay, not instead crinkle of con. walking out. It's um Ooh. denims, you can choose a convention. What which convention would it be? I gotta choose one. Um if not, I can choose one for you. Uh where are we going? Yeah, just just go wild. Just choose choose one for me. Crinkle con for the all the crinklers. Uh, I don't know. No, it'd be um it'd be dragon <laughs> con. Be dragon con. Why not? Yeah, dragging these nuts on your chin, Dylan. Hey, okay. <laughs> Dylan instantly regretting his decision to do that. He's like, this fucking stupid goddamn Dating bitch. show was a mistake. I don't know why I help. Why I, do, I don't want to do panels. I don't know why I do panels anyway. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're going to Dragon Con. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, Eris. Um. Well, I'm open-minded, right? Um. But I'll be honest. Like the whole fur thing, it's like, well, I love animals. Um. It's just, you know, it's just not. It's not my thing. Um. And it's very, very important to me to be like sexually compatible. Um. So I would have like a talk with Denim. So we try to like figure out like if this was the only thing that she was like into and all that stuff. And then I'd kind of make a decision. Um. I think just saying that you're willing to do like anything with someone, first of all, it's, I feel like that's either dishonest or that just means that you have no like self-respect. Um, that totally doesn't mean like, it's totally fine if people want to do like furry stuff. Um, but just being willing to go for something that you're not into, you're not comfortable with, um, is just a bad idea. So I would probably just have like a long talk with denims because communication is based. Um, and uh, you know, and then I'd figure out, you know, some of the other hot things that she was into, and then we'd do that instead. Okay. Cat girl. I would assume it's for content, and, you know, I'm I'm willing to support, I, I'm here for the memes. Afterwards, we'll go to the store, pick up a big uh, Bigfoot suit, try to go uh, confuse a bunch of conservatives, uh, you know, run through the woods. We could be the new reignition of why Bigfoot is believed. So I'm here for all types of memes. You know, I'll be Bigfoot. You'll be Bigfoot's pet. And I, you know, I'm here for it. Bigfoot's pet. So your angle is you want to work with denims to dominate, to, to reignite the Bigfoot conspiracy with Bigfoot this time having a giant German shepherd. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm going to add one more question to this. What if she turns to you and says, here's your suit. You're coming with me. I already said I'm going. No? I, I already added it into my answer that I'm getting a suit. It's 
It's a done deal. Eris? If she said like that, like if she would tell me I had to get in a suit. Yeah. No, I would I would say no because like I have I have standards and I believe like I, I don't believe that it's been <laughs> like an attractive thing. Your partner like who's willing to just like do anything for you. Um, it's really important to have boundaries and have things that you're personally comfortable with. Um, so yeah, if she just like demanded I do something that I'm not comfortable with, I would say no. And I actually think Denim's is the type of girl that would appreciate that. You know, like she doesn't want someone that's just going to be doing anything she automatically wants. Like that's kind of boring. Johnny? And plus also those suits right. are really pretty. Yeah. Yeah, they are. Um, because I, first of all, Eris is right. Second of all, because I already cosplay, being in a fursuit, although it is not something that I have ever wanted to spend money on or tried, uh, sounds like an experience. I hear that little kids think you're mascots and they love it. And that's part of, you know, some of the fun of cosplay is making little kids excited. Um, but also, <laughs> I love how Ares is also just assuming that the furry stuff is sexual. <laughs> and so assuming that that is not the case, we're all, we're all good, dude. <laughs> Although I would, I would have a preference what if on it was? like, yeah, what what is it? What do you make me dress up as? That's kind of important. Denims, you wanna do you wanna choose? Oh, I gotta choose. Oh, I can do it for shit. you if you don't um, want to. Oh, I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, mm. uh, let's uh, let's go with something nice and weeby. How about like a nice nine tail fox? You know, something oh, heavy, shit. something that would require a lot of endurance. Yes. Um, and not only do you have to wear like the you know, the badge of shame for being a furry, but you also have to wear the badge of shame for being kind of like a probably, you're probably a weeb if you're doing that. Like, let's, you're either into Akali or Naruto. So, realistically speaking. Jesus Christ. You make so many assumptions about me. No, <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, so I'm a sick ass, like, white nine tailed fox with, like, I don't know, animatronics or something like that. This is awesome. I'm already down. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I also had braids last week down to my ass, and that shit fucking was heavy. So I'm okay to have nine different tails as long as I get to go ahead and add like mechatronics to it. So like, you know, it's kind of like a like a transformer fox, and it goes like, you no know, hydro. I need to add the hydraulics, and then we're good. An heiress. Could you ask the question again? It was this nine tail fox is is the proposed costume to go to Dragon Con with denims the 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 German shepherd. I okay, I don't like the power disparity between like foxes and German shepherds. Like German shepherds are significantly larger and I prefer like a relationship that's much more on like equal kind of playing field. So I would prefer to be like a similar size dog um if I had to choose. Mm. So. Got it. Okay. All right. Okay, Denims. What do you think about all this? This is this is really tough for me because are I these do the questions like... you were expecting? No, no, these were not the questions I was expecting. I was expecting normal questions, and these are not the. Have you the not questions... asked these questions of your significant other before? Is this just me? I, you know, I gotta say, if 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 you're having a you know, bad luck streak on Grinder or Tinder. This might be why, Dylan. This might this might be why. Just sort of an intervention. Yeah. And I want you to have the best chances. You know. I'm gonna tell. Okay, I'm gonna interrupt this to tell a a, a, a gay story. I was up here, and if anybody knows anything about Grinder, if you accidentally click the app at all, you can put accidentally in parentheses if you don't believe me or whatever. But. If you accidentally click it, it just signs you on as online. And that means everybody in the area knows you're online and starts sending it. And so what happens is people machine gun you messages of like, hey, want to meet up or just nude photographs or whatever, right? And one of the messages I got was, hey, catfishing isn't okay. Stop. You're not Dylan Burns. And I was like, Shit. what? And they were convinced that I couldn't be Dylan Burns. 
and that I was catfishing in the LA area with fake pictures. And when I like sent a picture, like a very, like, like I flipped them off in like a picture, like really? And they were like, screenshots exist. They thought I was, I was catfishing. How did you know you're a real celebrity? <laughs> yeah. I was blown away. I can, I can confirm this did in fact happen. I did in fact see the evidence, the proof that was in the pudding, so to speak. This did in fact happen. Jack. Yeah. Real story. This did happen. Supreme can also confirm this, right? Damn. True. I took the picture. Yeah, I took the picture well, of me to prove well, it. I took a no. Scrub King type picture where you're like next to the messages to prove that you're really Dylan Burns. Yeah, it was it was a wild it was a wild experience. Well, I actually get mistaken for a celebrity all the time too. You know, um, oh. Dylan. Like, I don't mean to Mickey Mouse. Up, but when I'm walking around, okay, that was really below the belt. That was not okay. You you can't even keep a straight face. That is not okay. And then. Um, the, the experience that I had is that just like on average when I'm walking around, like especially during like the early 2010s, um, when the Call Me Maybe song was like really big with Carly Rae Jepsen, everyone would always come up to me and be like, oh my God, are you Carly Rae? Are you Carly Rae Jepsen? Like every single day, all the time. Okay? Very, very frustrating. So I'm going to be very grateful if people finally come up to me and be like, hey, you look like the, you know, the, you kind of look like aristocracy, but like, you know, 3D, 4D. Not that um, I'm not TD everywhere. I I, so. I I can't wait for someone to walk up to you. Stop! Stop! You you're not the real aristocracy. You're not a cartoon. You're not a cartoon. Jesus. That's gonna be great. I didn't know you would be three dimensional. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, and it'll disappoint everyone. She's four dimensional. She just said it. Yeah, that that's the real me reveal. Out a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't even know what that looks like. <laughs> so, you can see her inside when she walks. Something like that. No, you can be. see only her outside, and that's why she's 2D. That's the secret. Okay. Oh uh, shit. So we. I'm gonna throw one more question out this round because I I want to fill up this round a little bit more. So. What, you are being banished. Banished. Denim is being banished from the United States of America into a Disney universe. And you have to choose what Disney universe you are banished to with her. Which one would you choose? Personally, I'd pick Treasure Planet. I think it's a cool movie. A lot, a lot of people know it. And it'd be cool to sail the seas as a, as a space pirate. Anyway, I'm going to throw this one first to Aristocracy. Oh, this is really easy. Um, I would pick if I were to guess Denim's like favorite Disney movie or at least Disney princess movie. I'm gonna take a wild guess that it's either The Little Mermaid or Aladdin. I'm gonna lean towards Little Mermaid. Um, and so then we could like swim everywhere and explore the ocean, and it would be like total blast. And plus, having mermaid tails is like really really fun. Um, so yeah, it could go, it, it would go really, really well until like global warming destroys the ocean. But, um, yeah, but I don't think that that would happen in the Disney universe. So that's totally fine. Wonderful. I'm also being informed that Treasure Planet is not deal. Disney and I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Treasure Planet is Disney. Sorry, yeah. Disney just with me? All oh, sorry. I changed it's my answer. Disney. Let's go to, if we can, if we can do like non-Disney movies and let's go to God. Anastasia and go to Soviet Russia. That sounds like a great time. Oh, wow. Hell yeah. Yeah. It's Disney Dylan. It's it is Disney? Okay, so can we time that person out for 10 weeks? Thank you. Um, okay, Johnny, you're next. Hercules on the top of Mount Olympus, and we're color-coded floaty cloud gods. Hell yeah. And there's music everywhere because Hercules is a musical, so you get to listen to the muses sing all the time. Like, every time something important happens, it's super cool really boost your ego to have like a theme song for everything you do okay okay and cat girl uh i would say uh enchanted due to the like it's still being the real world but we're just oblivious so we're just able to enjoy oh, everything cheating. for the first time that is cheating again, <laughs> not even a little bit it's literally part of disney but I'll, here's where i'll cheat i'm stealing the music from lilo and stitch <laughs> That's respectable. Wonderful. Denim's you're okay with yeah, her okay. cheating? Like that was that was cheating. That was not cool. 
You know, I could have said, like, like, who framed Roger Rabbit or something like that. I'm the only, one of the only people who gave, like, a real Disney answer without any doubt that it was actually Disney. Gilly, this is a Disney movie! Okay, it's okay. Part of the uh, Disney Johnny, except for you. I said one of the only, you're, oh, you're okay. one of the only two. I was like... Don't worry. <laughs> what's that, what's that Disney two movie two where they got all the lemmings, they pushed a bunch of lemmings off of a cliff? Do you know what I'm talking about? What? There's this Disney film from back uh, in the day oh, called, like, now? Adventure of the Lemmings. Right. And I might be crazy, but they literally like they 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 take a bunch of lemmings like real lemmings. And at the end, they say, oh, they're doing this ritual where they jump off this cliff. And that's not true. They just shove a bunch of real life lemmings off of a cliff to their doom. And it was a documentary that I think Disney made. And it's white wilderness. I think so. Yeah. They force lemmings like off a cliff for TV. Lem- they they said that lemmings just kill themselves instinctually, but no, they just threw a bunch of lemmings off a cliff. You're saying that if you want to go with what's the most appropriate, it's I don't know like why I brought when that you're up, entering a really 2D weird. space. No, but Dylan, it's it's very when you're entering a 2D two D space, you want to make sure that you're welcome by other 2D people, uh-huh. um, and that you are not just like a colonizer. Um, so it's yeah you do not want to be participating in settler colonialism it is very bad it gets you canceled on twitter and um so i would welcome with open arms like denim to the to the 2d world and i have a lot of experience here i live here like all the time um and i just i know the ins and the outs um and the sides to the sides and uh how to deal with paper cuts it's just i understand it i understand it a lot can i change my answer to space jam okay Okay. What's the point? Lola doesn't have massive bazongas anymore. Space Jam right? one. Her titties oh, okay, were yeah, never that fine. big. They weren't. They were, they were like a cut. Like they were like barely <laughs> big. Anyway. Can we ban the person okay. in chat that said they want to colonize me? Like that is gross. <laughs> Wait. That is disgusting. Okay. It's <laughs> Is that <laughs> that's, <laughs> Doobie? Uh, that is a ban. I'm sorry, Doobie. That is a ban. <laughs> Out of context. <laughs> That's not out of context, Doobie. Doobie, so you have to send me a paragraph apology letter, okay? Thank you. Band. Oh, a pair. Damn, not even a time. Oh my you gotta write an God. essay. That's pretty bad. I'm sorry, we're not doing that. Gotta be, gotta what? be strong. I'm a, I am a law and order streamer. Okay. So, Denims, what do you think of all these answers to the furry stuff and to the Disney universes? The furry one is hard because, I I mean, I respect people who, you know, have their own boundaries. I do. Um, I also respect people who are, like, ride or die. It's very hard, you know. Um, and also, I, you know, I'm very big on, like, openness to new experiences. You know, like, like go, you know, I mean, I haven't been to a convention as a furry before. I tried at least once or at least maybe half the day right um so but you know i do respect people being able to draw their own boundaries and stuff i and i like that that, i like that that uh style so the first one was very hard the first one is very hard the second one you know at least i have some opinions on on these movies and stuff you know personally um you know anastasia is a very pretty film i don't know about the whole soviet russia thing i'm just gonna get me canceled but the film is it's very picturesque looks very nice um, so that's cool. Um, however, I also, I have a lot of films that I really like. Wait, Johnny, what were your answers again? If, if I can ask one more time. Answer to the Disney question? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Was Her- Hercules. Yes, thank you. Uh, yes. Specifically the Mount Olympus part of that movie. So I yeah. have to say Hercules is like, it's basically one of my favorite Disney movies. It's not like my favorite like animated movie ever that's definitely mm-hmm. prince of egypt however <gasps> no way no. Prince of egypt, okay prince of egypt is pretty good but i don't want to live there because it sounded shit. like it would it would suck no yeah but, yeah yeah i mean not it's pretty good i option. cried the last time no. i watched prince Wait, of was egypt. i right about the little mermaid for the, i've Disney actually Disney? never seen the little mermaid it's god like, damn it that's insane but i do really like aladdin i i mean like not to be the stereotype being brown and liking Aladdin, but I do, I do like it. It's a good movie, you know. So, yeah, this is a this is this is kind of tough. Aladdin is cute. 
Who? Who's who? Cute. Aladdin's cute. Oh yeah, no, he's a. Uh... Yeah, he's cute. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. And other characters. <laughs> okay, denims. <laughs> it's time for you to if choose. If you want me to get a Princess Jasmine outfit, I'm willing. No, I'm down to do that. <laughs> All right. Okay. I should look into Let that. me. I'm gonna think this. I'm gonna have to. This is tough. Okay, you have 30 seconds, Denims. Teeth. Wow, I didn't even. <laughs> that was quick. I didn't even. I clicked the music. No, it was not. I clicked the music. It was like five seconds, and you had it. That, no, no. That was no. You're coping and that was the quickest one. Like I just clicked the music. Listen, Chat will confirm this. Listen, okay. Wow, dude. Wow. You didn't. You wow. didn't even sit there Thank contemplating. You, Thank you. Listen, okay. You forced me to contemplate prior. I thought you were playing the music while I was talking. Okay, I didn't know that. What? Oh, they're back. Okay, so. I'm just going to say the person. I'm not going to do the 2v2 thing. The person who was voted out was the cat girl. I'm so sorry. Is it okay for me it's to reveal chill. whether it was love or host? As long as I get to add my caveat, yes. you're good. It was host. <gasps> but... It was because I wanted to share a donation link. So if I can do that in your chat, then I'm good. Sure, you can do that in my chat. Oh my god. Okay, thank you. It's all for charity. That's right. I do want to give a quick little standing ovation. Be listen. She screwed you over like for charity, Denims. Listen. L listen, buddy. Listen, let me finish talking. Okay. This is uh not about you for once in your life, Dylan. Okay. I know it's hard to 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 feel that way and not feel like the center of attention for two seconds, Dylan. It's a white okay. male centric world. Um, but I do respect people who oh wow, oh wow, crazy, crazy. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna start you're gonna start getting called uh straight passing like Vosh very, very soon. Okay, buddy. Keep it up. Keep it up. All right. Um, anyways, I just wanna give a standing ovation for like the idea of adding hydraulics to your costume. Okay. Those those cosplays, they go like those are the cosplays that people take pictures of. Okay, those are really nice. So I, I, I do really respect. Well, thank I'm just you. Saying, oh, I'm I, just saying. And like, I, Mike. Oh, sorry. You're gonna be here. You have time to talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just I wanted to quote the great philosopher Mike from PA. Oh no. Um, and that a uh, charity is actually like a capitalist no. conspiracy. Thank you. So. <laughs> okay yeah i just posted the black legal action fund so uh it helps people get out of prison so please please donate okay yeah, have a nice donate, day everyone. what a capitalist conspiracy wonderful and if then there were two gone, Aris, oh my god i'm, so, I'm sorry i'm fighting so hard for you dad i'm so okay Ferocity. You know, my love is just so strong now right, there okay, are two is... people two now, I'm not going to be asking a question this round. In fact, I'm saying to Eris and to Johnny that you mm. are one round away from possibly, depending if you chose love or host, going on the trip of a left time, possibly to Botswana, who knows, off in this magical adventure with Denims. And the only person standing across from you right now to stop you is the person counter of you in this whereby so why should you be chosen and the other person shouldn't be chosen i'm gonna start with eris let's start okay well i actually have a lot of respect for johnny right because johnny stands up for themselves johnny is very very smart um and is a very unique person um however you know the thing is is that johnny is also very tall um, and tall people, they, they think that they can dominate the world, right? They think they're really, really strong, but we small people, 
Like we can get into tiny spaces that people just never expect. And we had to work on developing other aspects of ourselves and not just relying on like this tall supremacy. Um, so I would actually just easily, honestly, like, you know, even though she'd look really tough, like, like, um, I would just go right underneath, um, and just go like literally like go beneath her legs, voila, easy. And I'm through. Um, problem solved because I just really value str like strategy over just like brute strength, you know. Um, but yeah, no hate to no hate to Johnny, um, except for that I'm just a hundred percent way better. You know, Johnny might have like a two hundred IQ. I've got a four hundred IQ. Crazy. Um, you know, Johnny might have like pretty you know pretty hair. I've got two D perfect hair that is never out of place. Literally, I shake my head. It's not out of place ever. Okay, it always goes back. Does Johnny have that? I don't think so, no. right? Um, and also, my sexual health is completely clean. I'm not going to make any assumptions about Johnny, but, like, 2D characters can't ever get, yeah, Dylan, you're so, like, disturbed, right? I'm just being totally honest, is that, like, we never have to go get STD tests because it's just, like, not possible to transfer, like, STDs to 2D characters. I know a lot of are people you, don't know Are you requesting that. That, um, that Johnny make her STD quest test public? Um, I'm not saying anything. I'm just asking questions. I'm just it's asking questions. Just that's all. You. Just... <laughs> I'm just asking questions. So I'm not making any claims. I'm not making any I'm claims. Gonna um, die. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> um, well, and... all right, all right. Actually, if you if you don't mind me me uh, jumping off of you there, Eris, I I I would like to say that one of the benefits is that denims and I are the same species we are not 4d eldritch we are not 40 eldritch creatures it as hell. we are not 40 eldritch creatures which pop into this world in the form of a 2d sliver we we simply are not that we are compatible in a way that uh simply doesn't exist there with you and i think that's important for denims to remember um also you also prefer okay, but would you also prefer if you were like the same race as the other person that you were Jesus, engaging with, huh? Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Are you okay? Ah, no, no, I don't. I don't. Eldritch it, creature. Honestly, Eldritch creature was the primary part of that phrase. Okay. Sorry, I missed that. My audio like cut out at like oh. apparently the key word. Um. I think Eris is accusing Johnny of being a racist with STDs. I can't. That's what I'm putting together from this. This is pretty intense, Eris. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Oh. Okay, okay. I did. I was just asking questions. I made no accusations. Ooh, okay. No accusations. I was just asking questions. That's all. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. 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 So. Okay. 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 So. Okay. And also, I would like to point out, as far as brute strength goes, I, I would like you to know my build in Skyrim. As far as brute strength goes, I do! I do have a Warhammer, but only for close combat, and everything else is poisoned arrows. Everything else is pure strategy. So I'm literally both. Get you someone who can do both. And we have the same animated movie, which is an incredibly important part of a relationship. Prince of Egypt, and uh just king of dreams slap do not at me i will not be taking questions at this time thank you chat yeah i would just say that the princess of egypt is literally about my people you know um the jews being slaves in egypt so um i do know all the songs from that movie um very 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 important to me i can't sing them very effectively um i there is a clip of me singing uh the um the song from the Prince of Egypt that kind of went a little viral and destiny made fun of me for it because I sounded really terrible, but that's okay. I would still sing it for you denims. Okay. Now I feel like a slave owner because you brought up that you're Jewish and I am Egyptian. So now I'm feeling a little on the spot no, here. Don't worry. A little, a little on yeah. fire here. I'm a little, honestly, I'm, I'm a little kinky. I'm fine with that. Denims. Like, okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just need to make so, sure we're, we're yeah, okay we can have fun with because... it. I feel like we can have fun with that. So okay. Okay. Worry, okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Close call there. Don't worry. Sex, sex makes everything okay. And you can't, you can't criticize anything to do with sex. So. I'm it's dying. true. That's true. Yeah. Otherwise you're a bigot. 
I, I, d wow. Um, okay. That was it. That was an ending segment. Um, any, any reflection on anything that was said, Denims? This is, uh, you really, you really brought, uh, some, uh, some good competitors here, Dylan. Thank you. This is, um, this is quite, quite difficult. Well, it looks like Denims, it is time for you to make a decision. Will you be walking off with Johnny Scarlet or Aristocracy TV? The choice is completely yours. I will give you one minute. Hmm. One minute. Okay. All right. Let me. Um. Let me think. Choose wisely. Really... I'm done. Thanks for putting this together, Dylan. By the way, while there's a lull. No problem. I I've enjoyed. Thank this is fun. Hell yeah. Edgy, but fun. <laughs> Emo kid with a paper cut edgy. I thought I was muted. I was so confused. It's no, so he's funny just... for us too because we don't even get this. <laughs> oh, I forgot. There's music. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. You guys, we are sitting here in this whereby completely silent. We're still making all of these faces. <laughs> okay, we now have the YouTube thumbnails. Okay. <clears throat> we have the results. Now, this has been an amazing show. I liked doing something different. I really did enjoy doing this in celebration of Pride Month. I had a blast with this, and I'm happy this is my first panel I did coming back, not some politics panel. Uh, the vast majority of people who originally booked for this did show up. Only one person that was for medical issues uh, did not show. And uh, I'm very happy with it. I think it was fun. I think it was good content. A ton of good clips from this. A lot of good moments. And I hope I can do this again in the future, hopefully. I'm happy this is what we're going to be doing the kickoff pride. And we have the results. Let me just get the documents out of here. Let me just get the... Uh, just the documents. Oh my god. You're a real mess. You're beating the shit out of me. What are you doing? Getting the documents. Aggressive. Oh, it's Eris, you're a cartoon. You've probably never off. dealt with physical documents before. So Discord Yeah, DMs I try to you. deal only digital. Yeah. Yeah, look at you, hippie. Anyway, you have the results. Chat, make a prediction. The person who was kicked by Denims was aristocracy, meaning the winner is Johnny <gasps> Scarlet of today's hippy dippy wow. gay dating show. I demand a recount. Congratulations. Please Dominion stop, voting stop, systems steal. was involved. Steal. Congratulations. I Congratulations. I, I... Congratulations. Can I please know if it's lover host, please. Okay, one second. One second. I need to it's have some non copyright music. I, I want to congratulate Johnny Scarlet and, and thank Aristocracy for being a being a great sport. And the um can can you tell me? Can you can you what tell everybody whether it was lover host? Angry. What was it? What was yours, Eris? Eris, wasn't yours? Um mine was love. 
Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, my oh, That's wow. what you broke my heart. I mean, you know what? I respect it. I respect it. Okay, but still, it hurts. It hurts so much. I thought we were friends. I'm sorry. I'm. So I didn't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought that 2D hearts would be easier to break. I didn't know. I didn't know. I'm really asleep for you, but it's okay. It's fine. Wow. It's whatever. I'm. I'm. I'm okay. <laughs> it's fine. I'm, I'm, oh my God. It's all right. I'm okay. Wow. Okay. Do you have any and have any final thoughts, Eris, about Denim's breaking um, your heart in half for the public? Well, obviously now I wish I would have picked host, but uh, if you want to watch me, please go to Aristocracy TV. Okay, um, that's all you know. Because obviously the only kind of love I'm ever gonna get is from my viewers, so it's fine. Oh my God, everyone, please fine. go follow Eris. I'm I wow. I didn't mean it. Shameless from Denim's. Wow. It's fine. You know what? I preferred leggings anyways. Okay. Bye. Yeah. That was cold. Cold. Well, Johnny. Wow. Wow. Well.